it's, it's been exactly a year. Yeah, well, like, exactly. You are back. You know, work rate's still keeping up. I, I can see always getting emails through new songs all the time. Yeah, yeah. So what's, what's happened to you in the last year? Well, you know, within the last year, um, we trying to better ourselves as artists, better ourselves as a team, you know, um, the Juicy Camp. Um, what is that? I've promoted new songs. I've released a video. Um, I've done a blast, which is the next step up, you know, sending out your music worldwide, internationally. And yeah, man, just trying to improve on the music constantly. You're talking about the video. I mean, all we've had this talk over the last three weeks is every UK soul car seems to be jumping on the video. What's the, the video game's going up. Talk, talk to me about it. How did that come about? We are the chance at us. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> well, you know, I have this new track coming out, which we're pushing for 2012 as well, um, called Controlling Me. And I thought, you know, the next level is to have visuals of this, this, this track, you know, which we, we are promoting. So yeah, that's why I went and released a video and to really show who I am as a character and what this song is about, you know? Okay, I mean, you're joining me now. I know a lot of people are going to think, hang on, Trudy Boy Juicy, beef you've been playing him for the last three weeks on the show, sorry, two weeks on the show, and today, you're here now. They're going to be wondering, you know, we've been talking about the UK Soka Monarch as well. How come you're not there? <laughs> Without getting political. Well, you know, um, as I can say, sometimes it's good to, to look from the outside, you know, and, and really analyse what is going on and to see how, you know, for, for the forthcoming year or next year, to approach things in a different way, you know, and to, to channel yourself as an artist. So, yeah, man, I out here listening. Big up to everybody who's taking part. Um, and I wish everybody luck, you know. How, how important do you think that is for UK artists to have a soccer monarch and a road march, our own road march? Well, I think um, in terms of... For us as artists over here, I think that is a very good platform, you know, and I think we should get more support, you know, from the UK scene, have more people getting involved in how we could make this even bigger, you know, rather than how it is right now. You know, a lot more support, a lot more sponsors, and support the artists here, because you have good people here, you know. Okay, you know, you're one of the few artists that I've had on here that I can sort of dip back into your back catalogue, right? You know, we got No Behaviour that we're going to do, that was from last year that you've pushed for this year as well. Yeah. Right, no. we've got that. That's thrown into a mix a bit later on. Yeah. Right, we've got Control, which we're going to play in a bit, but I've got Beast in Me, <laughs> which is probably the first tune I saw you perform. Yeah. Right, you want to introduce it right now for the one extra listeners? Yeah, well, everybody out there right now, this track I'm introducing tonight is called The Beast in Me, produced by my friend Sheck Boy and Trini Boy Juicy. Boom. What you need to do, uh, another question you need to ask after I speak to Trinity Boy, you need to ask him 